Zen ha? Japanese future centenarians. That's something I'm going to talk about today, so stick around. Hi, my name is Hachiaki Takamiya. I am the author of the Ikigai Diet and the founder of this diet. Right. So now my video, the Japanese Blue Zones diet, has got on over 10,000 views. I'm so happy about it. Right. So what are the Japanese Blue Zones? Now, the Japanese Blue Zones are the first long-lived villages which were discovered by Dr. Shoji Kondo, who was a medical professor at Tohoku University. He wrote a book called Long-Lived long -lived Villages and Short-Lived Villages in Japan. And so between 1935 and 1971, he conducted this very long research. Yeah, he spent 36 years traveling around Japan, visiting over 990 villages and towns, and investigated the long-lived villages and short-lived villages. Yeah, so he made a map of Japan, and you see all those blue spots? They are the long-lived villages he discovered, and red spots are the short-lived villages. So you see, there are so many blue spots. Yeah, there are long-lived villages everywhere in Japan, right? So when when I say Japanese blue zones, I'm talking about those long-lived villages. But that was a long time ago. You know, back in you know 1935, 1971. So a long time ago, and now things have changed a little bit. Right. So today, when we say Japanese blue zones, first place come to our mind is Okinawa. Yeah. I mean, Okinawa is well known worldwide. Yeah. It is one of the world blue zones. Yeah. Which was introduced by Dan Butner. Right. So we all know about Okinawa. Right. But Okinawa isn't the only blue zones in Japan. In fact, I made a video called Okinawa isn't the only blue zones in Japan. And there are some other prefectures. So it was back in 1980s when Okinawa was well known as the land of longevity. But now prefectures like Nagano and Shiga have been ranked within the top three in the last uh, probably 10 to 20 years. Yet we have a national longevity rankings. Right. So I made another video called Seven Longevity Secrets of Nagano, the King of Japanese Blue Zones, and Seven Longevity Secrets of Shiga, a Japanese Blue Zone. Right. So when I say the Japanese Blue Zones, I am talking about those three prefectures as well. Yeah. Okinawa, Nagano, and Shiga. Right. Having said that, in the Ikigai diet book, I did not necessarily model the centenarians in the Japanese blue zones because I don't think the centenarians in the Japanese blue zones are the healthiest people in Japan. Well, first of all, they are the centenarians or old people uh, who are in their 90s or 80s, yeah? And the present centenarians or the old people were healthy. Yeah, I say were healthy because they were healthy when they were younger and that made them live long today, yeah? So they were healthy because they followed that tradition which was passed down from their parents. Or they follow the prefectural guidelines. Now, uh, when we talk about Nagano and Siga, uh, it was a prefecture that uh, decided to make the region healthy and long living. So they uh, set up a certain guideline and the people just followed these guidelines, such as salt reduction movement, right? Um, so that means they have a tendency to follow 
what they are told to do without questioning. Now, this is a problem for me because when the social norm changes, they will accept the change without questioning, right? And they have because in the past, our farming was all organic, but now the social norm changed to using agricultural chemicals and chemical fertilizers and everything. Yeah, and they accepted the change without questioning. So we already know that the mentality of the old people did not work. They still remain healthy because they have kept the organic and natural life lifestyle for such a long time. They were lucky, yeah? But to find a true role model, we need to think of the mentality as well, because we are living in the present age and the present age is different from the past. We need to become conscious to choose the new lifestyle in spite of the fact that the majority of the population are leading a different lifestyle, right? And then uh, there are people like that in Japan, the people whom I consider the healthiest people in Japan. And they are Shizenha people. Shizenha means naturalist, yeah? Young naturalists living in the countryside. They move to the countryside from big cities, yeah? To choose to lead this natural lifestyle. And they will be longer living centurions. I think they will be even, they, they will be living even longer than present centenarians. So they can be the real role model for longevity. Um, so number one, they learn from their grandparents. So they uh, inherit, they, they learn from their grandparents. So they learn the Japanese traditional diet and traditional farming method, the traditional lifestyle. Yeah. In, in other words, uh, they uh, inherited the genuine, genuine Japanese traditional culture. Two, they study from books on the internet. So not only from their direct grandparents, yeah, or the you know elderly in your village, they study from books about the natural food movement and some uh, you know, great method which was uh, developed by certain thinkers, such as natural farming, which I will talk about it a bit later, yeah? And they are scientific about it too. So they experiment what they have learned. They don't, they don't just follow something without questioning, yeah. And because they are young, because they're new generations, they are flexible enough to do it. They are flexible enough to change if necessary, right? So these young naturalists, they grow rice and vegetables using organic farming, natural farming, or permaculture. Natural farming is a method which was developed by Masanobu Fukuoka or Yoshikazu Kawaguchi. Uh, so you don't cultivate the land and you don't use a uh, fertilizer, not even organic fertilizer, yeah? And you, you do not use chemicals at all. And you just let a uh, plant grow uh, in accordance with the natural rhythm and with insects and weeds and everything, yeah. And they make fermented food such as misos and pickles. And the great things about this is they chose to lead this way. They chose to move to the countryside and practice organic farming or natural farming. And they started making fermented food, which is not done anymore. But 
they learned how to do it from their grandparent or from the internet and they practice they basically rediscover the japanese tradition they also bring up their kids naturally so that they want to make sure their kids eat natural and healthy food so they have become adult now they have become parent and they became responsible to make sure that they want to leave a healthy planet for the next generation yeah therefore they check all the ingredients to make sure everything is uh, healthy it's not they don't just believe yeah uh, because that's what the prefecture is saying or that's what the media is saying they check everything uh, themselves all right so to sum up uh, these shizenha people yeah they eat organic and natural food and they lead organic and natural lifestyle and they also value modern science yeah to uh, do their own research plus they follow the japanese natural food movement too uh, now if they learn only from their grandparents because grandparents are just regular ordinary people but there are naturalists in the past too so the young naturalist yeah study from the old naturalist as well and this japanese natural food movement is based on what i call the natural philosophy that is five thousand years old oriental natural philosophy you know the chinese natural philosophy japanese natural philosophy they all i mean japanese natural philosophy is pretty much influenced by the chinese natural philosophy right so in many ways shizenha people are the healthiest people in japan and they will be living longer than the present centenarians and they will be the longest living people in the world since japan is one of the countries with the longest life expectancy okay so the japanese natural philosophy is the key and in the next video i would like to talk about the japanese natural philosophy right okay so thank you for watching today Again, my name is Sachi Takamiya, the author of the Ikigai Diet. If you want to know more about the diet and the lifestyle of Sizenka people, please read the book. And if you like this video, please give me your thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Live with your Ikigai.